right, so I'm gonna do a quick video testing out 3DS, and we I have done a uh, Wii gameplay and PlayStation 2 and stuff like that before, but I'll go through that a little bit too as well. But I'm trying to make this short, sweet to the point. So if you're not interested in watching the whole video, the answer to the question: Does this device run 3DS and DS well? No. Uh, same for PS2. PS1 and down, it should be able to run those games perfectly fine, but PS2 and a couple other things, you might find some that might work and you might find some settings that might fix the issues here and there to make it work, but this device is mainly a streaming handheld that, you know, if you want to get away from your computer and stream your uh, Steam Deck stuff or Steam OS and Steam stuff like that, then you can lay down in your bed, play, that's there. Um, if you want to play your PlayStation 5, PS4, Xbox series, or the, the original Xbox, and you want to stream from there, instead of laying down, uh, you can lay down instead, and instead of you sitting at the TV and stuff, that's for this option as well. But other than that, this handheld is not the strongest. I know they in plans of making another handheld version, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but... Um, it'd be a ways away for they make another one, which they need to put a stronger chipset in it. But for the most part, 3DS, Wii, PS2, no, this ain't this ain't the device for it. The fact that it can do some emulation is impressive, but it wasn't made for that. So that's your short answer. But if you're here for the long answer, I got Citra, Lime 3DS, and the both of the Dolphin, Dolphin MMJ, and um, I also got 8 ss 2 as well. We'll do line 3DS. I'm going to show the settings. Show what I got set up in there. And then test two games out. These are uh, going to be the same two games for both uh, line 3DS and the uh, Citra. If I can get it to work. There you go. So, we're going to go through the settings. General settings. I don't really touch anything on now. System settings, uh, as you can see, console ID, I don't really know why they showed that, but it ain't gonna make no difference, ain't nobody can't hack it. Camera, don't have to show that. Gamepad, I had to, of course, map the gamepad. Graphics, I got it on Vulcan for right now, but you can keep it on OpenGL, it really don't matter. The native resolution, as you can see. I don't really change anything, and it's no point because, like I said, the system's not made for that specifically, in a way. And then, you know, the audio and stuff is there. So, uh, got a couple games: got FIFA, Donkey Kong, Kingdom Hearts, Mario Kart. We're just gonna do, we're gonna try Donkey Kong and Persona because those are two easier games, should be easier games to run. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. But as far as you know, this this like I said, this handheld is not made for that. It just it just ain't made for this. But the fact that it can try to play, I guess, is impressive. But at the same time, it's not running it well enough. Now, as you can see, seven, six, seven frames per second. That ain't. This is not playable. 
it runs, it's just not playable. Sometimes it go to 12, sometimes it don't. And of course, you got your settings and stuff you can change on here, but it, it's just not playable. This ain't the type of device for that. And like even with Persona Q2, which is even easier to run, it still doesn't run this game well. If you want to do emulation on this device, I would suggest like GameCube, I mean Game Boy uh, Color, Game Boy Band, stuff like that. Them, them games will run on here. But these 3DS, the newer, the newer gen from over PlayStation 1 and stuff, don't, don't, it ain't worth it. If you bought this device and you want to play emulation on it, yeah, just stick to the older emulation games. That stuff will run on here. Newer stuff won't run on here. Switch is not great on here either. So. This game is not hard to run, but it's just not great, so. I mean, it's running, but. For the screen, you would think it would be nice if they make this same device again for the screen size and everything, but to make it where you actually have a chipset that you know, it can play these games. Because as you can see, 3DS is not bad. I mean, you got the little small second screen here and the big screen here. You can actually play on here enjoyably, but it just doesn't run these kind of games well because of the chipset they use. But, I mean, this one's actually running a lot better than that one, but as far as I know, but it still is not great. And with Central, same way. If you got Central, which Central, you know, that's shut down now. So we had to have Line 3DS to take over and come in and do what it's supposed to do. But, you know, it's still gonna run about the same, seven, nine frames, 15 frames. But they, I mean, I'm not gonna waste time. You can see it's doing the same thing. Uh, we GameCube, this is MMJ, the easiest game to run, Animal Crossing. Come to my Animal Crossing is literally the easiest game to run on here because it's like 30 megabytes. And it has issues. I believe I turned the volume my way up to make sure. Easiest game to run. Should be about the easiest game to run. And they can't run this game. I mean, they run. Every game runs. You don't see none crash. But it's just the point. You can't. It's not enjoyable at all. And then I'll go through the settings on here real quick. Sorry, because I forgot to show the settings. Uh, we ain't gonna go to general. We want graphic settings, Vulcan. Like I said, you can change the OpenGL and it might help. Um, because I know OpenGLs run used to run better on these apps anyway. But for the most part, I mean, yeah, I doubt they still make it run much better. I mean, you might make it run a little bit better, but not much better. As you see, one one X resolution. Like I said, if you know what you're doing and you know how to make it work, make it work. But I'm just showing you that we GameCube stuff just don't work on here. Um, this is another game. This is the Dolphin MMJ version. So, I mean, this is supposed to be a better version for these handhelds anyway. That's why they put it on the Ambernick handhelds and stuff like that.
As you can see, these games run, they just don't run well. I don't know why I went to the intro one. But there you go. As you can see, it, I mean, it runs. It just don't run well. So, but that's your judgment. Use your judgment if you want to try to. I mean, you can always tinker with stuff. That's why when you get these handhelds, Chinese made handhelds and stuff, you got to tinker with this stuff, settings and all that. But as far as the settings go, when I play with stuff and pause, but the way I run the games and stuff, I normally run it the way that it's intended to like a plug and play experience. So if I get the game, put the game on there, plug it in and play, and if it don't run, that's how I, you know, I play the games. Because I don't want to have to go through and tinker with all that stuff. Now me, personally, I can tinker through stuff. I, I know how to tinker through certain apps and certain games. I don't mind doing it, but it's just the point. It's a lot of time, and if you mess up on the process and you mess something up, then you have to restart over. That's a, you know, you know, that's an annoyance that you don't want to deal with. But there you have it, 3DS Wii, not so great. Um, they, they don't crash, but they're not playable. Like, where you can sit down and enjoy yourself and play the game, pause again. Uh, it's not, they're not that, in, you know, they're not that, not worthwhile trying to work. Now, PS1, uh, like, Game Boy Color, stuff like that, like, I be playing Pokemon Silver on here. Or crystal and stuff. I be playing crystal and having a good time on it because it's a big screen. I do what I need to do. You know, it, it's enjoyable on here for this. Got long lasting battery, like the uh, four or five Eve I have, uh, the tablet and stuff like that. Cause Steam Deck kind of, you know, batteries ain't the greatest on them, but they still, you know, I have my purpose with them. So but anyway, this is long enough a video. I think that I show, you know what you need to see if there's anything else that you need to see or any other comments that you have concerns of let me know let me know down below and uh, i'll try to do my best to you know see what i can do for you but at the end of the day i hope you understand and see that you know what you need to see and yeah we'll go from them hopefully have a good day and uh see y'all in the next video peace